Hello friends, Assalamu alaikum. This is Sajid Ali Heather from Istanbul, Turkey office. Today I'm going to introduce you a very famous personality, Mr. Ali Bey. Hello sir, how Hi. are you? Good, good, thank you. Thank you. Mr. Ali is actually the CEO of three big companies here in Istanbul, Turkey. He is the CEO of Globally, Nation Plus and MacMaster. So you know there is very difficult situation in Turkey nowadays getting residency card even for citizenship they are making changes in the policies. So today we have a big news. So let's talk with Ali Bey and we can ask him what do you have in your store. So how are you sir? Great, thank you. You know, Romania is talk of the town nowadays and yes. people are talking that it's going to be the part of Schengen. Mm -hmm. So, what do you say about that? Well, uh, I've been studying Romania for the last six months. Great. Uh, I've been going back and forth and uh, doing research about the economy, the situation, what's going on there. And I was so impressed. Mm. First time when I went there, I wasn't expecting... Uh, what I saw, country is well developed, mm -hmm. it's luxury, nice, it has all parts like Paris and uh, Rome, also oh. it has developed areas like Dubai, mm -hmm. and there are lots of expats in fact. That's great. And the interesting thing is that people speak English mostly. Wow, that's, you know, being uh, in Turkey, it's so important if we mm -hmm. can get anyone who can speak in English as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, I was shocked that to see so many expats there and in every restaurant I see people speak English. Mm. And the interesting thing is that uh, lots of IT company headquartered mm. in Romania. Wow. So it's a center of IT in Romania. Internet speed is so high. Good. Which is good. And uh, what I saw was that uh, so many European investors coming to Romania Mm -hmm. For investment purpose. Exactly, to yes. invest in Romania because Romania is developing fast because Romania is fuel efficient. So that's helping them to develop faster while the other parts of Europe are suffering from energy deficiency. What about the Schengen part? They are going to be, and they're mm -hmm. supposed to be the part of Schengen. There was a couple of years a struggle to join uh, Schengen and it was approved last month. Ah, it's that, already been approved. Exactly. Wow. So by March, uh, officially Romania will join Schengen. I heard that Austria uh, did veto against that. Yeah, they actually they were waiting because all the uh, Schengen members should vote yeah. in order to join. So yeah. Austria was withholding it, they vote mm -hmm. against Romania, which they agreed to let them join. Oh, that's and great. Officially, it's mm -hmm. soon it's going to be part of Schengen. Wow. So, you know, when it's going to be the part of Schengen, people will be rushing to get their residency mm -hmm. and, you know, nationality. So, how we can help it? Yani, I have many queries. People are asking me, particularly for Pakistan, India and Bangladesh, mm -hmm. uh, that Turkey is, you know, out of reach nowadays. Mm -hmm. So, how we can go into the Schengen part? So, I told them that we heard about uh, uh, Romania. Mm -hmm. So, what do you offer to my clients? Uh, Interesting is when I was there, I saw so many Pakistanis in Romania. Wow. Uh, I was shocked. And, and uh, I didn't know there is inquiries about Romania, that part of the world, mm -hmm. uh, which is interesting. And uh, now what we can do, there is two systems. We can help people to get into Romania and basically have Schengen visa. Okay. Uh, one type is to get an employment visa. Okay. By getting employment visa, so you can live there, work there, uh, and then uh, you can travel around Europe easy. In simple words, that is called work permit. Exactly. So getting this work permit, you will be eligible to get into uh, Romania and mm -hmm. you will be able to uh, do your job. Yes, if you have a job. If you have a job. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. another question. Yes. Yani it's not easy to get the job. It's not hard and it's not easy, but it's doable because what's happening, so many Romanians, they are moving abroad for a higher salary. Mm -hmm. So there is a shortage of, I mean, uh, employees. Employment. Yeah. Okay. So the first option is to get the work permit. And what is the second one? The because second. it suits only the people who are individual, who are youngsters, they can go for the work permit. And it's a shortest way. Mm -hmm. But the people who are having their families, they want to move with the families, what, what we have for them? In fact, uh, 
the the second one, which is more interesting, is uh, starting a company in Romania. In Romania, and I believe Romania is one of the best places to start doing business because mm -hmm. if you want to do business with Europe, um, going to the the more developed countries like Germany and uh, France would be very hard to do business. Yeah. Uh, the tax issues and so much restrictions, it's, it's very hard. So the best point to enter would be Romania. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, there's res less restrictions and also the taxes is lower. Mm -hmm. So it's very easy. So how, how one can open an, uh, a company in Romania mm -hmm. not being there? Yani, is it possible to open a company remotely? It is. Officially, you need to be there to start a company, but uh, when you're using a lawyer, it is possible to have the lawyer set up the company for you and even opening the bank account. So by giving the power of attorney to your lawyer, mm -hmm. you can get open your company and you can also get uh, open your bank account in, in mm -hmm. there. You sign a contract with a lawyer and the lawyer will take care of everything. Uh, that's great. So after getting this company registered and opening the bank account, how is it possible to get get into there? Mm -hmm. uh, there is one point that you need to keep in mind. Mm -hmm. If you want to get residency by opening a company, uh, normally the the residency visa would be given to the manager of the company, not, not the, the owner of the company. Exactly. Okay. So if you want to get visa, I mean residency visa, you need to be the manager, not the owner. Ah, okay. So the owner cannot be the manager. No, if they normally they can be, but if they are, then they don't get the residency. Ah, okay. So the owner must be separate, or an individual, exactly. and the manager should be a different person. Exactly. So it means a family who are uh, having a plan to settle over there, they must open the company with their spouse name, and the main any the other applicant will be the manager in the company and he will be getting the residency. Exactly. So uh, one of them should be the owner, one of them should be the manager. Okay. Uh, and also if some uh, in some cases people they are not like two partner or family, okay. What they can do if they have a company in another country, their homeland country. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So what they do basically they set up the company under their company name. Yani they can open a company under their current company. Exactly. Ah, that's great. So this way, their company owns the company and they would be the manager. Got it. It's, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. And one more thing is, uh, in order to get the residency, you need to have an active business uh -huh. and a minimum capital of 60,000 euros. 60,000 euro will be the capital investment in your company. Yeah, yani you must company. have to put 60,000 euro into your bank account. Exactly. Under, under your company. Exactly. And you can use it for your normal business. Huh, okay. One of the options uh, is that people who don't want to do business in Romania is to uh, buy a property mm -hmm. under company name. So the company will become a property ownership company, like a holding company. I got it. Yani, for this 60,000 euro, you can put it in, under your company bank account and you can start working, mm -hmm. you can start your business or there is another option that you can buy a property with this 60,000 euro mm -hmm. under your company name and you can also be able to get your residence. Exactly. That's great. It means like uh, with 60,000 euro investment in your company plus of course the lawyer's costs and the Official of course, calls. Of course. Uh, uh, you can start your company, uh, perhaps buy your property, mm -hmm. and get Schengen residency. So, how long it will take? For example, if someone is going to get uh, register his company, and then he can arrange his capital sixty thousand euro into his bank account, and then he will be eligible to apply for the residency. First, the main applicant, yani yeah, the manager, mm -hmm. will be applied for the residency. Yes. How long it will take to get him? Approximately three to four months. Three to four months. Yes. And after that, how long it will take him to sponsor his family? Uh, that's not very long. It, I mean, in two months they can do that normally because first the main applicant need to get the visa residency. Okay. After that, uh, he or she can process the family a visa in, in very short time, less less than I mean, uh, you know, the main applicant. Got it. Mm -hmm. So in in uh, simple words. Uh, I will directly ask you how much it will cost them in total. The cost is 
of course, the, the lawyer and official costs, plus the actually the the capital you put in your company is not a cost. Yeah, because the it's, money is already it's capital. Yeah. yeah, it's but, under under your control. Yeah, but the thing is, uh, the cost of uh, the service it depend on the company who's doing it mm -hmm. or the lawyer. Mm -hmm. So our cost, for example, could be different from other firms. Uh, some firms might charge more. Some people. I mean, some firms might charge less. Mm -hmm. I don't know about the less one, but I know about the more one. Mm -hmm. So uh, that depends. So this one, uh, I prefer not to discuss it <laughs> on the camera. <laughs> it's individually would be discussed and okay. depend on what service they will get from us, how they want us to do it. So we charge them according to that service that we provide. So after this whole conversation, I would say that consultancy fee, we can talk on call once you are going to give us your query you may be asking many questions so we can tell you our consultancy price but please keep in mind that 60,000 euro is under your control you are going to transfer from your account to the uh, company account under your name or under your spouse name it is not a big money you will be getting residency in three to four months maximum and you know it will be the part of Schengen and you will be free to travel around 26 or 27 countries in Schengen zone. So if you have any further questions or queries, please do contact us on the contact number given in the description as well as on the screen. Stay safe. Stay smiling.